Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this latest build, I'm working on part 31 of Build HMS Victory. Okay, so if you join me in last week's video on part 30, you see I was just finishing off the transom. Well, that's all dry now and it's time to obviously start to smooth it down, rub it down with some sandpaper and start to add all the uh, decorative mouldings that you can see from the uh, the picture that I'm going to add on screen now just so you get an indication of what we're working at ok I'm just going to bring Victor down and we'll make a start all the glue's now dried on the on the new transom that I made so I'm just going to first thing I'm just going to pull all the pins out So I've just sanded all the uh, the new planking on the transom. Don't want it too smooth. You want it to uh, actually look like it's whole planking, and I quite like that. Okay, because I'm having my uh, casting slightly raised, so I'll do in line with a new transom. I just used a little piece of 1.5 by 6 and then just traced it around the the outline of the, the casting. And now I'll do the same on the starboard side. So I'll just put the moulded casting back on. As you can see, it pretty much all runs in line like now, how it would have done before. So now, once in, this is where the the moulding will sit. Put this in. As before, if we kind, if you kind of build this instruction, you put it, you just pretty much cover that with a two mil piece of two mil square, and it pretty much covers that. So if you've got it slightly sat on a one point mil piece of scrap, it kind of lines up really nice. So you're not losing any decoration from this cast and moulding part. And then you can still add on a nice moulder strip as well. But obviously now, because I've got this in its final position, I can actually see where this uh, this light wing transom block that, the, that we built up, where it needs some more work. And I'll just do that now. So I'm just shaping that slightly more, the transom. I'm happy with the position now. And I'm going to glue this decorative part into place. I'm actually going to use, obviously, I'm much, obviously I've got some better super glue now, is I'm going to use a two part epoxy resin. I picked that up from uh, from Gorilla Glue. It's been, I tried it on some of the, uh, the wriggles, but I think it's okay, so I'm just going to mix up a little bit of that. I've just mixed up a little bit of the two part. Poxy. I'm just going to add a little, little bit to each section. That seems I've got some epoxy resin still mixed up. I'll uh, attach this down with some epoxy resin. You only have about five minutes to work with the epoxy resin, so I've only made up enough that I need to work with just for this section. It's a little bit tacky, but it's, it always feels like it's stick nice. Okay, I'll 
leave that to dry half an hour. I'll have a cup of tea and I'll come back. Okay, so I'll let the castor parts dry for the last half an hour. So now it's, it's time to add the first piece of decorative moulding. All it's going to do is just going to wrap around the uh, transom like that. But this time I'm going to use super glue because I want the instant grab effect this time. The uh, epoxy resin has dried really, really hard. It's solid. But the trouble is, it's not instant grab. Just got some super glue on my cocktail stick and I'm just going to add it onto a a quarter of the part that needs sticking first. And I'm just going to keep adding some around. This is really good super glue. I can't believe I've been messing about with a other super glue for about two or three months before I finally got around to uh, changing it. my shoulder popping oh, I forgot to mention I just slightly filed off just about probably 0.25 a mil off each end just so the moulding would just wrap around better Okay, so the glue's dry, so I'm just going to try and knock off, knock off, just going to cut off the corners, and just slightly cut them at a 45 degrees angle. So that's why I left that, that outside proud, obviously it's pretty much what I was used to wrap around the, uh, the wing transom. So I'll just carve that at 45. I'm just gonna obviously mark it now to be cut to length. This is the same because you want it to kind of curve into the whale. This wants to be cut at 45 as well. You can just kind of cut it at 45. So this is the same, I'm gonna have to obviously super glue it first. And then I'll see him push into place. Let's get a super glue. Like I did before, I'll just glue this one tight first before I try attempt any bend. bend this around the transom hopefully hopefully it'll stay pinned I'll put a close up picture on the screen after it's finished so you can kind of see the finished because no, it's not the greatest angle yeah but that's, uh, that's held it nice so like it before I was going to cut it a slight 
45 degrees angle that's what we're talking about before but i worry about as you start to cut it start to come off but that's okay let's pop a little bit more glue back in that right, so on the port side it's slightly a bit, a bit trickier it's always one side it wouldn't quite stick right so i had to pin it and i couldn't quite get the uh the angle for the 45 degrees quite right on this side so all I've got to do is I've got to glue it glue it on and slightly work sandy a nice corner into this one like I did before I'm just going to get the first section in and glued just add a little bit more glue to this end work I'll just hold it a minute while the glue dries okay so I've just flicked over to a hand held at the minute so you'll have to just bear with me just so you can give a better impression of what we've just been working at and now it's going to look so I've not managed to get anything done the last couple of days on VG. Obviously uh, I'm about to make some more mouldings that I'm going to use to wrap around the gallery. And I've got two kinds of mouldings here. This is the one that I use when I've been making it with the uh, like the scribing machine. Obviously I just scribe down with two pieces of timber. And I made a separate one. And this is all this is just made up is three different thicknesses of wood all glued together. And then that's uh, still quite as effective. If anybody would like to see me make the uh, the mouldings, if you just leave a comment, and I'll see uh, if people if people want to see me making them, then I'll make a new video next week. Anyway, I'll bring Richard down and we'll carry on. So it's just pretty much going to be the same as it did with the uh, the bottom moulding. It's all I'm going to do is obviously I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom of the gallery, just gluing and bending as I go along. Like it before I start off. And glue. It's on the port side. Probably just over two windows. All I've got to do now is obviously is I'm just keep gluing a bit and just manipulating it up. It's flexible enough to just be bended up into place. So I'm just going to keep moving along, adding a little bit more super glue. Probably due to the middle of the gallery now, which is just that centre line there. I'm just going to bend this up into pretty much onto the Center line. I just hold that there. And now just finish off by coming all the way across. super glue just on the inside where the the mitre corn is going to start and just let a little bit of capillary action run all the way across the top so I'm just going to make a little indication mark 
for another piece of the moulding. Oh, you can see, okay, it's a bit, it's really difficult to film this part. So I'm just gonna put a little indication pencil mark in. Pretty much slightly over where I need to, uh, 45 degrees out. <laughs> just reducing the angle of the uh, molding down you just stand it as it is trying to come in with a, a blade so I'll just make a little indication mark make it slightly over length I can always come back and take a bit more off Okay, that just needs tapering as well. Okay, some more super glue. End of the molding, and then just drops them all the way across. up as the uh, as possibly can try and get a nice mitre corner and then seal the corner with a couple of drops of super glue we can uh, sand all that back after that's not an issue there's been before a little bit of capillary reaction Take some super glue all the way down the length of the, the moulding. And drop a bit around the end. All that just needs is a little bit of sanding, blending it into the, the hole. Yeah, but well that's looking okay. So I'll just finish off that last little bit of trim moulding. Obviously when I played it back, obviously it was all out of focus, so sorry about that. But I fit it in exactly the same way as all the rest of the side. So all I really need to do now is add a piece of moulding there. And that's pretty much the, uh, the transom finished. Ready to start moving up the gallery. I may, I've got some uh, 0 0.5 by 5 mil walnut coming from uh, Cornwall model boats. So I may re plank all this, all this section in the 0.5. Once it works, obviously I'd add some filler there and filler all the way along this, so it might just look, look better. And also just come down the sides as well with the 0.5. Well, that's it for this video i hope you like how it's progressing it's starting to look really nice now you've started to add all the decorative features on i'll turn victor back over okay so in, in next week's video i'm going to carry on obviously adding all the moldings as we would do as we're going up obviously in the kit you get these these like uh, like preform windows I mean, they look okay but obviously I'm not going to be using that I'm going to be obviously just carrying on adding the uh, the mouldings that will see if I've got all these little all these little decorative parts 
you've got these little decorative castings don't see they divide all the wind ledges yeah so I'm just gonna start adding all them as well anyway I hope you like the video and I'll see you all next time <laughs>